This video will cover the OCR tool on the CVX, otherwise known as the Optical Character Recognition Tool. This is very good for reading characters such as letters, numbers, and other characters like periods, hyphens, etc. We go into Add the Tool. You can find it in two places. You can find it in the Function list under the OCR tool. You can also find it the identification category under the characters tool. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the program. Now it's going to give you your region. The only thing you have to make sure is that your region will fall around the characters and then it's going to try and automatically extract the characters in individual blocks. As you can see that has already happened except the letter F and I will explain why that happened later on in some other settings. But first you can see you have the choice to choose the font color white or black. Obviously the font here is black. You can choose the text direction uh, right left up and down as well as mirrored reading if your text could be completely opposite. Now on the line block settings, there will be the choice to choose angled line. So if the characters may be on an angle in your image, you will want to have this checked. So you can see this example image right here next to the definition. If your characters will look like this, you will want to have this box checked. If they're going to be like the ones in my image right now, consistently, you don't need to check this box. The wave threshold will specify the lower threshold of the wave by wave intensity. What this means is this box to the right of my characters. As you can see that line will go up and down as I go higher and lower on the wave threshold. Now on the block set settings, you can choose the number of characters. This was what I was referring to with the F not having a block around it is because it is by default only looking for 10 characters. So if I add one more character, it will now detect the F. The sloped character feature will be able to detect characters if they are on a slope. As you can see in this example image, I may have some characters that are sloped, so I will check this box. And then once again, there is the wave threshold. You can see when I move it up and down, the line on the box above the characters will go up and down. Now if this wave threshold goes above any of the peaks, those will not be recognized as characters. So the default setting at 40 works for this program. Next is the library settings where you can create and register characters to your library so that they can be extracted. So now I will edit the library. Uh, you have the choice to choose the library number. You can have multiple libraries. You can name the library and you click register. You can do either each, which would be individually registering the characters or batch where you can register them all at once. I will do batch. This is recommended if there are multiple characters. So at this point you will just put in the characters that you are seeing so that they can be registered within the library. Now you can see the 1, 2, and 3 in the library as well as the ABC and then the lowercase D, E, and F. So there may be some other characters that you are looking to register. So what you can do is simply trigger through your images and register those as well. And I will do that real quick.
once you have registered all the characters that you are going to see you can go into your judgment conditions and this is where you can set any limits that you may need on the OCR tool you can type in the registered string so this will judge the registered string against the detected string to see if the part will pass or fail this is also where you can add calendar options you can also copy the detected string which will copy what is currently being read and that will be the limit that the detected string will be based off of so now if I trigger through my images well you will see that we are getting a no good on this one because it does not match the registered string however we are getting a okay total status on this one because it does match the registered string you can also choose a lower limit for the correlation. The correlation is how similar the extracted character is to the library data. This last feature is matching the red text with 1D or 2D barcode data. So if you do select this, you will be able to link it up with a 1D or 2D barcode reading tool. So that is the OCR tool, otherwise known as the Optical Character Recognition Tool. It is a simple setup. You will register your characters in the library. The more characters you register, the larger variation you will have to find them if there is any difference. And as you can see here, when I trigger through, it is looking for my registered string so it will fail anything that it reads that does not match that registered string.